Hey, what's going on guys? Bit of a different video today. Instead of talking about tech, we're going to do a full overview of the Sleeper app. Now, if you haven't heard of Sleeper before, it's a platform for fantasy football. The app is super clean, super powerful, and my friends and I just migrated our Dynasty League from Flea Flicker over to Sleeper. So let's go ahead and take a look. So starting with the home page, this is the screen that you're going to see when you boot up Sleeper. It's going to default to this matchup tab. This part is pretty standard. You get some point projections, win probability. As you scroll, you'll see your individual starters against the opponent's individual starters. Keep going, you'll see the same thing for bench, IR, and taxi squad. If you have an IR and taxi squad, this is a dynasty league, so those things are pretty common. One of the really cool things here, obviously, is the robot and the ability to taunt. You can make the robot do some different stuff. You can say whatever you want. You can even use emojis. Uh, just a little word of caution, though. If you use a taunt, it will pop up in your league chat for all to see. So if you're saying something you don't want your whole league to see that you said, you might want to be careful. We'll go back to that league chat here in just a second. One other thing here in the app though, if you want to customize that mascot, you can, but it's going to cost you a little bit of money. That's one of the ways that Sleeper makes some money. You see here top right, those cookies. That's how they're making some money off of that. But you can use this robot by default, won't have to pay a penny. Now the other big thing before we dive into those different tabs at the top is the league chat. It's obviously a league chat, as the name would suggest, but as you can see here, it'll also show you waiver claims, uh, roster cuts, trades that have been processed, etc. So this league chat's pretty cool, and that stays static at the bottom of the page. Also some cool built-in stuff there with emojis, GIFs, attachments, you get the idea. Now moving to these other tabs at the top, we're going to start from right to left, so we're on matchup far left right now. Going over to league on the right side, you can see the different league matchups, projections, and win probability for everybody for a given week. You can change that week there top right. We're going to leave it on week one. To the left of that, you see news, and this is what most of you probably know Sleeper from, the Sleeper Bot app, where they would tell you player injury updates, roster updates, really all kinds of player news, and they would get it to you fast. So that's all available right here in the news tab. It's pretty cool. It's going to tailor it to your team. So on this team, I have Allen Robinson and Darius Geis. So as you can see, tailoring the information to my specific team. If you're in a bunch of different leagues, this will change from league to league, depending on the players that you have. So that's also really cool. And lastly, we have this team tab and this is where we're going to transition into setting your lineup as well as accessing waivers and trades that all happens through this team tab right here starting off with your lineup if you just tap a player let's say I want to take Russell Wilson out for whatever reason if I tap on Russell Wilson it's actually gonna bring up like a player card I can see different things in there like his game logs his projections drop him if I wanted to read recent news about him so that's pretty cool to have but it's not what I want to do now if I hit that arrow button next to starters that's actually just gonna let me share my starting lineup if I wanted to brag on Twitter Facebook Reddit or whatever if you want to brag about your starting lineup for whatever reason but how you actually swap out the positions is you tap the icon over there on the left side so if I want to swap out Russ, I have to tap there on QB to pick another QB to put in his spot, or I can just move him to the bench and leave my QB slot empty. Same goes for the other positions. So with this league, as you can see, we only start one of each position and we have a lot of flexes. So if for whatever reason I wanted to move Damian Williams to David Johnson's spot, to my one running back spot, if there are some injuries happening or whatever, I can do that from here. But you got to make sure you tap on that icon to the left of the player. That's how you actually sub people in and out. Same goes down here for your bench. If I wanted to put in Royce Freeman because he's tearing it up, I can do that by touching on the bench icon next to his name. And just to show you guys what that would look like, if I tap on Russell Wilson again and I want to put in Big Ben, just tap on the bench icon next to Big Ben, boom. Now my starting lineup is set with Big Ben in at quarterback. Next, we're going to tackle these four things underneath team from left to right. Add players, proposed trade, transactions, and schedule. Add players, this is your waiver wire. Now over here on the right, you can see this little green icon next to available. That's what we're currently on people that are currently on the waiver wire that I am able to pick up once you get this menu open it's pretty intuitive if I'm looking for just wide receivers I can tap on that and only see free agent wide receivers quarterbacks all you get the idea over here on the season projection thing I just tapped on I can filter by whatever I want season projection season average what they did in a specific week what they did a specific year ADP stats if I just want my stats to display it's really pretty robust and you can kind of cater it to what you want it to be for your own wants and needs coming back over here to that green bar that's over there on available 
I hit trending, this is pretty cool as well. It'll show you players that are trending across all sleeper leagues. So right now, Dontrell Hilliard is being added a lot because Duke Johnson just got traded earlier today. So a lot of people are trying to grab the next guy up in Cleveland since Kareem Hunt suspended for a little bit. Uh, Duke Johnson, also a hot ad or hot trade target, I guess, because he just got traded to the Texans. You get the idea there. Scrolling down, we'll see players trending in the opposite direction. Uh, Dante Foreman, because he just got traded. Uh, Demarie Crockett, because Duke Johnson just got traded to the Texans. But you get the idea there. You can see what other people are doing. If you should hold on to a player, you should cut them. Maybe you're thinking about adding somebody if you want to add them or trade for them. It's a pretty cool feature to have. Now, middle of this menu, we've got ranking. I'm not sure how Sleeper gets these rankings, but they're there. As you can see, we've got season long projections there again. We can go by position if we want to. And if we tap on season long projections, we have all of those options again to go in and filter on whatever we want to filter on. Below that is watch list. Now this is pretty standard. You star a player that you want to watch and you just keep track of them that way in that specific league. You can see we've got that little white dot next to players. If we click on news, this is news on all the players that are on your watch list. So again, sleeper out here killing it with some really cool feature ads. And then below that is scores. Now these are actual NFL scores. As you can see, we've got some preseason games going on right now. We've got some games that finished. We've got some games that start tomorrow. Pretty cool to have NFL scores right there inside of your fantasy app. I really like what sleeper is doing here. And we get out of this menu from sliding left to right. And remember, we got all that information from the add players tab. The reason that's important is that football helmet looks really similar to that one there top right, and it's because it's the exact same thing. The only difference is that football helmet top right stays there no matter what page you're on. So if we go back to matchup, we just want to access our waivers right away, tap on that football helmet, and boom, you're there. Next up is proposed trade. Now you see this in the NBA a lot, not so much in any other sport, but you can go ahead and do a multiple team trade if you wanted to where assets are going all over the place. But for the sake of this example, we're going to stick with just one team and hit next, assets to acquire. Now this part's pretty cool how it's broken out by different position, quarterback, running back, receiver, tight end, blah, blah, blah. And if you keep going, you can see different draft picks. In this case, we've already had our rookie draft since this is a dynasty league. So if I wanted to, I could trade this guy for future picks. And then you just do the same thing in reverse, assets for him to acquire from me. And now we'll see my team pop up and these are the players that I want to send his way, as well as draft picks or whatever the case may be. From there, you just hit send and that's it. Now, another way you could do a trade, let's go over to league and let's find that same guy for argument's sake, Nick Snowtown 71 If he's got a player that I'm trying to acquire, if I'm trying to push on that player's name, we're gonna get that player card like we got earlier. That's not what we want. If we try to tap that icon like we're setting our starting lineup, that doesn't work either. You have to actually push that trade button and then that brings up that trade window that we were really familiar with, that we were just in, hit next, and boom, we're right back there. So the two different ways are hitting proposed trade right here from the team menu, or you can go over to league, find the team that you're looking for, and then hit trade from there. But it is going to bring you back to this menu. So once you get here, you should be pretty familiar with it. Maybe they'll speed that up in the future. I don't know. It's a little bit janky right now, but it at least works and looks good. Now to the right, we have transactions. This is going to be where all of your trade offers live. If you've added a player, if you've cut a player on waivers, it's all going to appear right here under transactions, as you can see from my transaction history. So if somebody offered you a trade and you're wondering how the heck to get to that trade to accept or reject or even just see it, it's going to appear right here under my trade. And right below that we see waiver claims. So if you have some waiver claims that are already in and you want to edit them, you come right here and you do edit the order or edit the bidding. That would presumably all be right here under waiver claims. I just can't show that off because we're in preseason and I don't currently have any claims out there. The final thing is the schedule. If we tap on schedule, it just pulls up your personal schedule for however many weeks your season is. In this case, it's 13. If I want to look ahead to the game against Snowtown, I can just tap on that matchup and it'll give me a nice preview of that matchup. I can even send him a taunt even though we're not anywhere near week nine yet. So once you're in the app, this is the page that I'll probably spend the most time on just playing around with this as well as that free agent page that I showed you earlier. Getting familiar with it, it is really different from ESPN or Flea Flicker if you're used to either of those apps, but it's really cool and really powerful once you get it down. And again, setting your starting lineup, just make sure you push that icon next to the player. So some other navigational stuff here top right, we do have a settings cog. Those are the settings for your team in that specific league. So these can vary from league to league and probably will vary from league to league. But you can dive here into the team settings, change your team name, give player nicknames if you wanted to. So I have Marcus Mariota in a league. I nicknamed him Mary Gota because I'm that clever. Just a smaller fun thing that you can do within their app that I haven't seen in other apps thus far. You can also look at your league settings. So maybe you want to see when waivers process or something like that. If you're not the commissioner, you're not going to be able to come in here and change everything, but you can view the settings. Coming back out to this home screen though, again, we've got that constant league chat thing there at the bottom, which I really like having. 
Then on the left side, we have a hamburger menu. If you tap on that, you'll be able to see all of your leagues as well as another settings cog there top left, which is where we're going to start. That settings cog, those are your account settings. This is where you can change your little icon, you can invite people, you can change your username, you know, I mean all account level stuff that you can do here within Sleeper is going to come under that settings cog there, top left from the hamburger menu. Below that is all the direct messages you have across all of your Sleeper leagues. As you can see here, I'm in a few, so those are all my direct messages from all of my different leagues, as well as different friends that you have on the app. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom, we have some different chat channels, Fantasy Football Q&A, Football Chat, and Football Alerts. That's what made Sleeper really popular, and I'd highly recommend you check those channels out if you haven't already. You can also create your own league or do some mock drafts. So again, just some more tools at your disposal here within the app. Now, the last couple things we're going to touch on are different navigation options if your draft hasn't happened yet, as well as some different commissioner settings. So here I'm going to tap on the Dynasty League I'm the commissioner of, where we're waiting on the rookie draft to start this Saturday. As you can see there, front and center, we have the different draft settings. We can preview it or mock it if we want. Since I'm the commissioner, I can go in here to the settings of the draft and I can change it right there on the fly. One of the cool things you can do in Sleeper is you can do a long draft, so you can do eight hours per pick, or in this case, no time limit, because a couple of the guys in this league got married this month in August. Congrats to those two, Drew and Parker. And scrolling down, since this is a rookie draft, I can make sure that only rookies are in the draft and make sure it's a linear draft instead of a snake draft since we're going off of how every team finished last year. Back to the home page, you can see the different divisions and teams in those divisions as well as their draft position if you're trying to figure out who you want to trade with. Scrolling past that, we see the league settings, which I'm able to edit again since I'm the commissioner, as well as the scoring settings. And scrolling all the way to the bottom, we see different league activity, accepted and rejected trades. There's no waiver wire ads or cuts here because we are waiting on that rookie draft to happen. This part really just applies to dynasty leagues, but let's say that I want to process a trade before the league has even started. Let's say I'm draft position number nine, like I am for this rookie draft, and I want to move up to spot number one. I'll just go ahead and select this team, and then we're back to that familiar menu that we saw earlier. I can go ahead and hit trade, select this team assets to acquire and you'd scroll through the players that you want as you can see broken up by position again and in this case we're after the draft picks but you can see he's already traded the 101 away to somebody now the last thing here is for commissioners only if i push the settings cog again you can see we've got those general settings we looked at earlier but i've now also got this commish tab now this is where you access all of the commissioner settings for the league as far as what you want to do specifically that kind of depends it take way too long for me to run through all of these but that's how you access the commissioner settings for the league and that wraps this one up if there's something that you were looking for that i didn't cover feel free to let me know down in the comments i try to reply to every single comment so if you're struggling trying to use sleeper be sure to let me know and i'll make sure i try and help you out thanks Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.